Jackie Seitz here with LearnToFiddle.com with another video fiddle lesson for you. Today we're going to learn how to hold your violin using one of these, a shoulder rest, and how to hold your violin without the use of your left arm. And this is really important so that you can learn to play quickly and shift your positions and uh, do more than just beginner songs. So it's important that from the beginning you set your violin up the correct way. First thing is you want to make sure that the dip of your shoulder rest, this part here, is on the opposite side of your chin rest. Make sure it's not over on this side. If it's on the wrong side, it'll be hard to balance your instrument. Once you have your shoulder rest kind of straight across the violin on the bottom portion, then what you want to do is you want to get it all the way up on your shoulder. And this is an essential step. A lot of people do this, and if I can get closer to the camera, you can see how there's a little gap here underneath the shoulder rest. You've got to make sure you get the shoulder rest all the way up so that it's flat against your body. Now you can check in a mirror or have someone bend down and double check for you to make sure that the shoulder rest is lying flush against your shoulder. That's the first thing. The second step is that you've got to make sure your chin goes right on the chin rest. It's not a cheek rest because if you lay your cheek on it, that pops the violin up, which makes it very hard to hold your hand and it's going to give you a backache. The other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to try to hold the violin up with your arm because eventually you'll get tired and your arm will come rest upon your body and that will give you a really bad playing position for your left hand. So it's important to get the violin all the way up on your shoulder. If you do the next step, which is a 10 second test, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, those are kind of quick, you can check slower, but if it feels like your violin's going to fall when you do that, either you're, you don't have your shoulder rest all the way up on your shoulder, or you don't have your head nice and straight on the chin rest. And you've got to also make sure, be really aware of your back, make sure you aren't puffing your chest out or 